Item number 6392 Golf, Frederick Ground, runway 30, taxi via Echo Alpha, hold short of taxiway Bravo. Taxi via Echo Alpha, hold short of Bravo, 92 Golf. All right. Okay. Nine two golf turn right on taxiway Bravo cross runway two three at Bravo. Uh, turn right on Bravo cross runway two three on Bravo nine two golf. Okay, so before takeoff, the flaps are Frederick out. Tower, 59038, Yankees, looking for a taxi instruction at 30 Wazulu, departure to the left. Okay, uh, lights are on, flight inch, all look good. Tech 598, Yankee, Frederick Ground, um, runway 30, taxi via Echo Alpha, hold short of taxiway Bravo. Echo Alpha, hold short of Bravo, 5938, Yankee. Uh, make sure, uh, Rick. And takeoff briefing, if we have a failure in still of runway, we'll stop on the runway. If we rotate still of runway, we'll set it back down. Uh, if we rotate and don't have runway, we pitch best glide, which is 5. And if we uh, are off the runway at pattern altitude and have a failure, we pitch best glide and set it back down on the runway. Excellent. Like a plan. Okay. So, uh, now we switch it to tower. Yep. This is Sierra 3, or is it 3 Sierra? There you go. There's your sign. Yep. Touch <laughs> <laughs> Tower, Cessna 6392 Golf, holding short of 3 zero, ready for departure. Cessna 6392 Golf, ready to tower, runway 3 uh, three zero, clear for takeoff, right turn, northeast bound. Clear for takeoff, uh, right, right turn, uh, 92 Golf. All right. And forgot to say the runway. I know, man. We'll, we're gonna have to do this one day, you know. Yeah, you'll be all right. Now your radio calls are really good, good man. Thank Keep you. it up. All right.
right, so winds are just about, see their winds are coming from our left there a little bit. We can go ahead and add a little bit of left aileron, so it's okay. going to be a crosswind takeoff. We'll give it full power. We're going to keep that correction in. And slowly let it out the faster we get. We get to 55 root two. There we go. Okay, so where should I turn to? Yep, we'll do a heading of uh, zero. Let's do zero four zero for now. Okay. Then we'll get up to uh, three thousand, and then we'll start working on tuning the VOR. Okay. Okay. Reagan Operation 6279. Guard. Reagan Operation 6279. Go ahead. Yeah, we're in range beyond the ground in about five minutes. Are we still going to Bravo 20? You're on guard. Roger, I'll have a ray for you. Roger. No, you're on guard. You're on guard. Cruise checklist since we're going to be in cruise for a while. Okay, so cruise power is set. Uh, mixture. Yep, so what we're going to do is we never really actually had to lean the mixture yet, right? Because we've always oh, been yeah. doing maneuvers. So go ahead and set your power to about 20, you know, 21, 2200, whatever you want oh, to yeah. set it as. And we'll use our trim. We'll set our trim first before we do this. Oh, okay. So there you go. Just get it comfortably trimmed out for you. And essentially what we're listening for is we're going to twist this mixture and go ahead and watch the RPM. Okay. We're going to see it drop a little bit. And after we have the drop, we're going to twist in about three or four more times until we get the rise back, okay? Okay. See the okay. drop there? Yep. One, two, three. There you go. Okay. So now it's leaned out to peak efficiency. We're not at, we're, so we're running just rich of peak. Because okay. if we run at the peak, I don't know if you guys have gone through performance yet in ground school. Um, uh, but the peak of it is where the engine's going to run kind of hot, so we want to have it just rich of peak. Okay. Yep. Awesome. All right. Okay. So, so landing light off. 
Yeah, we can leave that on actually, because we're going to be around a bunch of other airports. Okay. Yeah. Uh, engine instruments are in the green. Okay. And flight instruments all look good. All right. Excellent. So we're going to tune to a VOR, and it's a little bit soon for some of this stuff, but it's kind of an early introduction um, yeah. to your cross-country stuff. But today seems like a good day to not be doing pattern work too much. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this button here. See how it goes down to your, your nav down yep. here? So COM nav. And we're going to put in the Westminster VOR, which the code is 117.9. So we're going to put that in the active, and then we're going to listen for the uh, Morse code that's attached to that VOR, okay? Okay. So we're going to turn it up. We're going to click in where it says ID. Project Tower, 593 at Yankee, holding short of 30. Uh, looking for departure. And coastal waters. Moderate turbulence below 12,000. Airmet Zulu, update 2, valid until 2100 Zulu. Urgent pilot weather report. At Morristown, New Jersey, right, time 2035 yep. Zulu, altitude on the ground. Excellent. So now that we're tuned to the VOR, and I'll go ahead and hit the CDI button. Okay. And see how it says VLOCK now? Yeah. Go ahead and twist that OBS button okay. until we get a 2 indication with that arrow and then the needle centers. Okay. So that's from, we're going to keep twisting until uh, it uh, says 2. Okay. There you go. Right about there. Okay. okay. So now let's go ahead. If that needle goes left, we go just like if we're tracking the GPS. So we just follow the needle. If it okay. goes right, we go right. goes left, we go left. Um, so looking at this right now, which radial are we on as of right now? Um, would it be 2-8? Uh, yep, we're on the 2 eight okay. zero radial. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. So we're going to track to the VOR on the 2 eight zero radial. And then after we cross the VOR and it flips, we'll pick a different radial to track outbound on, okay? Okay. Awesome. And we'll stay at, uh, let's try to stay at 35. Okay. At the highest.
Center Center 38 smooth. Just kind of level it out here, wait for it to come back in. So we don't want to kind of go all the way around. Yeah. Right? It's kind of one of those get back to about a 90 degree intercept and then re intercept the, uh, the, the radial. Okay. Because it kind of goes out like spokes on a bike tire, right? Yeah. All the way out, and then we just get on our on ramp. Guard. So now I turn right or? Yep, we'll go ahead and start okay. turning right back into it. You got it. Okay, we're going to traffic 639 or 2 Golf is about 5 miles from the Westminster VOR, uh, west of the VOR at 3500, tracking directly to it. Carroll County. There you go, just watch your corrections. So the closer we get to the VOR, the bigger that the uh, the bigger the deflections are going to get. Okay. So the smaller corrections we have to make. The greater direct biggie, America 598. See that little runway about your 11 o'clock? Uh, yeah. So that's Clearview. That's uh, the shortest public use runway in the state. Oh. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Before you get your license, you'll probably end up there. Uh. That's yeah, a fun little airport. Yeah. That's where we practice our short field landings at. All right, we'll go ahead and keep watching our VOR there. Sorry, I distracted you. So once we get in with about a mile of the uh, VOR, we're going to get what's called the cone of confusion. Okay. Where that needle's going to start kind of popping back and forth. Yeah. So we can actually see the VOR. It's right off our right side. About your 2 o'clock yeah. straight down. So that's yep. the VOR. So we'll just basically fly right over that. But I call that pretty good. We got a little bit deflected there towards the end, but not too bad. For your first time uh, tracking it. Uh -huh. And then after we cross the VOR, let's track outbound on the 050 or 040 radial. Okay. Carol County traffic 6392 Golf is over the VOR at uh, 3000, tracking outbound on the 040 radial, Carol County. So you can see out there, that's Baltimore City. Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool. Okay, so do I twist this? Yep, twist okay. it to zero four zero. Yep. So 
Nope, it's going to uh, be at the top because we're going oh, okay, from the top. VOR. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah, if we're going to the VOR, it's on the bottom, and if we're going from, it's on the top. So we'll okay. just go ahead and start turning into that, and it'll flip back to from. Okay, so... So to the left. Do I... Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, we kind of start at the heading that we that is corresponding with the radial, and then we adjust as necessary after that. Okay. Should I just like level out and wait for it to... Yeah, exactly. Try okay. to do about a 90 degree correction just like you are. And then just wait for that thing to come back in. And it won't take too long because we're pretty close. Okay. But we're just, it's basically trying to find that spoke that we're, that we're programmed to go off of. Yep. And we'll do a few different VORs today so that'll be helpful as you can get that rhythm down. Yeah. There we go, starting to come in. I'm pretty sure that's like the second bump of it today. Not too bad. <laughs> Alright, let's track outbound on the 360 radial. Okay. Or essentially the zero radial. Yeah.
Virginia, Ohio, West Virginia, Maryland, District of Columbia, Delaware, Virginia, and Coastal Waters. Moderate turbulence below 1 3000. Airnet Tango, update 5, solid until 03000. Turbulence for New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Lake Erie, West Virginia, Maryland, District of Columbia, Delaware, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Coastal Waters. Moderate turbulence between flight level 230 and flight level 410. Airnet Zulu, update 3, solid until 03000. Icon for New York, Lake Ontario, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Lake Erie, West Virginia. Moderate icon between 3000 and 7000. Airnet Tango, update 5, solid until 03000. Turbulence for North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. Moderate turbulence below 1 2000. Urgent pilot weather report. At Morristown, New Jersey, time 2035 Zulu, altitude on the ground. Reported by aircraft type unknown. Moderate turbulence. Remark minus 10 knot. Final runway 23. Pilot flight reports are requested. Contact flight service for additional details. Hazardous weather within a 150 nautical mile radius of the Westminster and Nottingham DORs reported at 2101 Zulu. Airnet Sierra update 5. Solid until 0300 Zulu. IFR conditions for New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Lake Erie, West Virginia, Maryland. Ceilings below 1,000, visibility below 3 miles, precipitation mist. Airnet Sierra, update 5, solid until 03000. Mountain obscuration for New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Maryland, Virginia. Mountains obscured by clouds and precipitation mist. Airnet Tango, update 5, solid until 03000. Turbulence for Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Ohio, West Virginia, Maryland, District of Columbia, Delaware, Virginia, and Coastal Waters. But it should be coming in any time now. Now, mind you, there's a reason that uh, VORs are really not the primary source of navigation anymore, and yeah. you're kind of looking at it. Um, you know, they're, they are useful in a pinch, and they're nice to use, and you will have to demonstrate it on your check ride. But, um, as far as your everyday navigation that you're probably going to use as a pilot, yeah. or, or just looking at the ground. Um, but these do still work, they just take a little bit more finesse, we'll, we'll say, to, to get used to. There we go, it's starting to pop in there just a little bit, I think. Yep. Carroll County traffic says the 639 or 2 Golf is over the field 3,200, transiting east to west, Carroll County. lined up do I turn back to north? Yeah, once we start, you know, once it starts basically it's called tracking in, so we're just gonna follow it back in with our heading. Okay. There you go. Cool. Yeah, we'll start bringing it in towards north. Yeah, just like you're doing. Very good. 
Yeah, I just wasn't sure. Because it started turning right, and then every time I turned right, it would like fly to the left. Sure. Yeah, and mind you, it's going to be you know we're still yeah. pretty close, but as we get farther away, those the corrections are going to have to be bigger. Okay. Um, just like when we were coming in, you know, it's bigger out there, and then we get closer, closer, closer. It's going to zoom in. Yeah. On that on that radial. Alrighty, sir, let's go ahead and tune to the Frederick VOR. So the Frederick VOR is 109.00. Okay, so I push this in. Yep. Okay, and you said... 109. Okay, so 1... 0... 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. There you go. And then push it again. Yep. And then we'll go ahead and hit the V, so the V switch. It. Yep, just go ahead and hit it so it moves. There you go. Okay. Now the Frederick VOR is in the active. Okay. And we'll go ahead and listen to it. So go ahead and push in the, uh, the ID button there. Uh, where's... Right there. And then turn it up. You can hear. Okay. Alright, then go ahead and turn it back down. And hit it again to turn the ID off. Excellent. So let's know. Now we're going to go ahead and start turning to the left because we know the Frederick VOR is probably that direction. Not like we've been there before or anything, but you know, probably a good guess, right? And then let's go ahead and uh, twist that until we get a two indication and centered. Okay. And we'll stay at 3500 because we're just going to fly over their airspace. Okay. So do I just keep turning left until that yep. center? Yep, you okay. got it. Yep. There you go, a little bit smaller correction. They're just kind of hold this out through this uh, heading. Okay. And it should start tracking in right about there. There we go. Then we'll start turning back towards 240. Okay. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to track back to the VOR, and then we're going to track on the uh, 270 radial from once we get there. Okay. Tracking VORs is more or less like buttonology, you know, knowing which buttons to hit, listening for the codes, it's kind of getting a rhythm down, right? Yeah. Because the GPS, it's really easy. We just hit the direct enter, enter, and we go, you know? Uh-huh. But this is, this is how the pioneers did it, you know? Yeah.
All right, but we're going to stay at about 3,500. Because uh, Frederick's airspace goes up to about 28, so I like to be well and above it before we yeah. cross over. Carolina traffic 639 or 2 Golf is about two miles north of the cement plant 3500 transiting uh, from the northeast to the southwest, Carroll County. Got traffic in sight about our two, one o'clock or so. Yeah. Excellent. Shouldn't be a factor for us though.
going out tonight, you can tell all your classmates that, hey, I tracked VORs today. Look at that. Uh -huh. Yeah, did very well at it. What is tonight's actually? What's the what's the topic for this evening? Um, you know, I forgot. I was, I was trying to ahead. remember what, because uh, I know last time was what airspace and charts, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. I th I think we uh think it's more charts, like we got part way through that. Oh okay. Yeah, my uh, my ground school just finished up last night. Uh huh. And uh. The final went pretty well. I had one guy get an 80, which for, you know, the first time doing a test, not too bad. Yeah. So, it's pretty exciting. I know VOR tracking super exciting.
Oh but, yeah. Uh, it's a necessary evil, you know what I mean? Uh huh. And I think today was kind of a good day for it because everything low is kind of not so fun. Yeah. Alright, so we're on from, and let's go ahead and go on the 270 radio from.
Okay, it's not often you actually see the airport from that angle. Uh huh. Okay, so what we're going to do is track this outbound, and then eventually, once we get by just by Harper's Ferry, we're going to track to the Martinsburg VOR, and then track back into Frederick. Okay. Sound like a plan? Yep. Alrighty. Frequency for Martinsburg. I think I know it, but I want to make sure. Yeah. Okay, Martinsburg's frequency is 122.1. One. So okay. if we want to go ahead and load that in. I do. Excuse me, it's 112.1. One. Yes. Oh, 112. I'm sorry. Yep, go ahead and flip it. And then we'll tune it. Okay, okay let's go ahead and listen to the, the volume too. So we'll go ahead and click the ID and then turn it up. Yep, that's it. Oh, we caught it just in time. And you can see on the chart here, it'll be under sectional as well, but that's the Morse code. Okay. So it's dash. You know, dash long or short, long, short. Yeah. Yeah. To, uh, get to the ramp. 
Excellent, so we'll track to the Martinsburg VOR. We'll go over towards the hangars and then go that way back to the ramp. That's a 3 Yankee Roger, uh, Bravo, uh, Charlie, uh, Zero, uh, Charlie, 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 Alright, let's go ahead and try to maintain either 3,000 or 35. Okay. So we can pick one of them, alright? Yeah, I guess we'll go to 3. Alrighty. Actually, you know what, let's take it back up to 35. Um, due to the Martinsburg airspace, we're going to be by. Okay. Um, it goes up to 31, so we can take it up to 35.
I just put on Martinsburg just to monitor. Okay. I may just let them know that we're by the VOR when we get closer, just so they kind of see this, so they know who we are, what kind of what our intentions are. Yeah. Martinsburg Tower Sky Ventures uh, 227 is uh, 10 miles to the southwest inbound for landing with the weather. Sky Ventures 227, Martinsburg Tower reporting in a left down one runway 26. We'll enter left down run runway 26 for Sky Ventures 227. Something else on the GPS, I don't know if it's a function we've ever used, but if you, so all the way to the left is your map. Okay. If you take the big knob, all the way to the right, goes to the nearest airport. And if you wanted to, like, let's say go direct to Martinsburg, you just click in the center button, hit direct, enter, enter, and that gives you a GPS track. Oh, okay. Kind of neat. Enough. I don't know, I just kind of wanted to show you that, because it's not something we use a whole lot, but it is really helpful. Yeah. So on this screen, it gives you the mileage to all the most, to all the closest airports, so... Martinsburg is, you know, 10 point something away and it, you know, live feeds to all three. Yeah. And uh, Martinsburg Tower, good afternoon. Cessna 639 or 2 Golf, we're about 9 to the east. Uh, we're just going to be tracking to the VOR, doing some VOR work at uh, 30,500. Delta Echo Echo 1 and altimeter is uh, 3020, is that correct? Call Martinsburg Tower, say again. That was a November uh, 639 or 2 Golf. We're about uh, 9 to the east. We're going to be at uh, 3,500 just doing some VOR work uh, just uh, east of the field. Just want to let you know. I just thank you for the heads up. I'll tell you to 3022. 3022, 9 to Golf.
And Martinsburg Tower, Skymetry 227, left downwind 26. Skymetry 227, you full stop? Uh, it'll be a stop and go if we can, and then uh, departure to the southeast. Skymetry 227, runway 26, winds 30016, cleared stop and go. Cleared stop and go, runway 26, Skymetry 227. As we cross, I want you to track outbound on the two, uh, let's do 220 radial. Okay. You like that waypoint? Easy, 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 easy. Uh huh. I've never actually heard somebody pronounce it. Like direct, is you know what I mean? I have yeah. no idea how you'd even pronounce that. That's it's easy, you know. Yeah. Mike, Mike, at Echo 1, ready for release. 302 Mike, 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 I'll hold short. Holding short. 302 Mike, Mike. Mike, Mike, runway 26 at Echo 1, winds 32014, clip for takeoff. 302, Mike, Mike, Roger, winds and clear for takeoff. Skyvinch 227, if able, start your left turn now, please. Sorry, left turn uh, for 227. So let's track outbound on the zero, or excuse me, one two zero radial. Okay. Yep, you got it okay. One two zero. Oh, it said two right there. Yeah, it's kind of because how we are laterally to it. Just set it on the one two zero, and it'll okay. go right to. There we go. Okay. It'll kind of flip back and forth yeah. for a minute.
Mike, Mike, contact Potomac Departure. Have a good evening. Potomac Departure, good evening. To Mike, Mike. Go ahead. Alrighty, sir, if you want to go ahead and go direct to Frederick Airport via the GPS. Okay.
right, remember to hit the CDI button so it goes back to GPS. And there we go. Cool. We'll go back in for a full stop. Okay. Good work, man. I think I put you through the ringer today a little bit on VORs. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's one of those days where, or one of those things that it's just kind of repetition. Uh-huh. That gets you good at it, but uh, really good job with it. Yeah, usually I wait on that lesson until about, I have to get solo, but I'm like, if we're here, and yeah. I've already talked about it, at least it's a nice intro. Call it maintenance, you're on guard. Toronto Ops, it's uh, 621. Guard. All right, we've probably got to pick up our weather and we can give them a call here pretty soon. Okay. Approach. Advise on initial contact, yeah, bravo. Credit Care Port Information Bravo Time 2147 Zulu. Wind 320 at 10 zero, gust 15. Weather better than 5005. Temperature minus 2, dew point minus 15. Altimeter 3027. Runway 30 and use, expect visual approach. Advise on initial contact, Jeb. Okay, is it already set to the tower? Uh, so 132.4 is Frederick, so that's in the standby. Let's go ahead and flip them up. And then we'll put 12197 in the bottom for ground. Okay. Oh, oh, what you need there, bud? Okay. Uh, so how do you do the, like, half thing? Oh, that's good, it's 12197. Oh. So here, you got it set? Yeah, so it... Seven five. Okay. Yeah, one. So it always goes to the end. It's like five zero seven five. It's just a. Okay. Uh, yeah, or I'll pop that on back around the other way. Yeah, the ones down. Uh, well, let's see how that go on there. There we go. Um. So down here, this is the one that you can pull, and these okay. right here you can pull, but these ones up here you don't have okay. to. Yep. Alrighty, whenever you're ready, we'll give them a shout. Okay. Fetch Tower Cessna 6392 Golf is 10 miles to the west inbound for full stop with information, Bravo. Cessna 6392 Golf, Frederick Tower, report uh, 4 miles to the west for a left downwind runway 30. Report four miles, uh, runway three zero, Mexico. All 
Alright, let's go ahead and do our before landing checklist. Okay. Uh, landing light is on. Uh, magnetos are both. Uh, circuit breakers are all in. Uh, make sure. Rich. I repeat. Do we need the carbine? I'm gonna wait a little while to okay. put it on, but yeah. And flaps are up right now. Excellent. I like to do the checklist about like seven, eight miles out. Okay. That kind of depends on the situation, but uh, just so it gives you enough time to, you know, do it ahead of time, not worrying trying to do like radio calls and all that at the same time. Yep. So right now, should I just like aim for the tower? Yeah, this is perfect. We're going to be uh, left down one three zero. Okay. Nike Golf is four miles for left down wind three zero. Number nine two golf report left midfield downwind. Report left midfield downwind, Nike Golf. Now we're gonna bring it in just a little bit closer to the field, just a touch. Okay. Yeah, right about there, perfect. The goal is to get that nice forty five, you know, angle on the way. Yeah. If you want, you can probably throw that car beat on, too. Excellent. Yeah, I'm gonna pull it out. It's choking you. Nine two golf is left mid field down one ferry three zero. Number nine two golf runway three zero clear to land. Runway three zero clear to land. Nine two golf. You're on guard.
already say we're a little high, right? Yeah. Want to do? Let's go ahead and do a go around, okay? Okay. Right. Nine two golf is going around. Very good. Two nine two golf, Roger, and uh, just make left close traffic report left midfield downwind. Make left close traffic report midfield downwind. All right, and carpet off. There you go. And then we'll take our last amount of flaps out at 500 feet. AGL. Okay. So that's about 800. Yep. Yep, the only thing I would have done differently there is add the power first. Yeah, power first. start to go yeah. around and then. So it's AVA, navigate, communicate. Yep. There you go. But nicely executed though. And there's 800, flaps up. Nine two golf is left midfield downwind through zero. Remember nine two golf runway three zero clear to land. Runway three zero clear to land. Nine two golf. All right. So I think last time we turned our base a little early, right? Yep. Oh. Go and get that ten degrees in. That'll start slowing you down a bit. Here's probably a bit better. Yeah. And just keep that nose coming down the whole way around. This looks much better. Yep. In three one zero at one zero gusting one seven. Good pull back that power a bit. Remember your feet, right? A little bit of right rudder straight in the nose. Pull it back. There you go. Nice 
Nice job, man. Right. November 92 Golf, taxi to park via Bravo Charlie and monitor ground, point nine seven five. have it going.